And on a cross country, uh, cross Canada tour, how would that be? Set? Oh, the cross Canada tour, uh, Murray and Donald Davis uh, had everything organized we, in big, huge trucks, like they do out of the Royal Alec. And did they find sponsors as well in other cities, or did they actually back that? I think they backed it. I don't think they did sponsors. They may have done sponsors occasionally, right. but they would go in and rent the theater. And uh, uh, John Pratt and Mary Matheson were fairly well known. Right. Um, John had been mayor of Montre of yeah Montreal, and certainly the eastern part. Well, he wouldn't have been known in the west, but they were good, interesting shows, fun shows, and. Um, it went well. I mean, uh, I can remember one, that first year he went out uh, playing in a high schools with the show. And of course, they would turn the high school heat on. It'd be about 40 below out, and they'd turn on at about 6 o'clock. Or, you know, they'd let the kids go and then, or let it go when the kids went and then turn it on. Well, it was bloody freezing. And you'd put on your makeup by a match under the Leitner nine, you know, to melt it and get it on your... <laughs> and everybody sat in their coats, that kind of thing. But they loved it anyway. I mean, it was extraordinary when I think of it now. And there wasn't anything else to do. You know, it wasn't... You didn't have a million things to do. And everybody felt the same way. It was a very, very... Um, everybody's going to... was building. Building like mad. The country what we were going to do, how we were going to do it, we were going to be, you know, the arts were it. So oh, and we were messianic. Well, we were messianic. Right. And it must have, you know. And but where did the messianicness come from? Well, from the people. I mean, you played and they would just adore and they, so oh, that was great. So from the audience great. feedback yeah. that you got, you got energized yeah, to do this. Right, it wasn't very much. politicians who were saying, yes, Arabi, please lay the charge oh, for the arts. Oh, no, no, It no, wasn't no, Bay no. Street who said, yes, Arabi, please lead no. the charge for the arts. No, so, no. to be specific here, <laughs> it is the audiences who were responding. Yes, the audiences. Not the, the political layer, now, not the I business Now, certainly layer. when I played Ottawa, I had cousins there that were in government. We had had, you know, uh, uh, people sponsored government. Now, the interesting thing is that the arts made a huge step forward when Pauline McGibbon was lieutenant governor. As in England, we were there from 60 to 70. And Pauline was lieutenant governor? Of Ontario. What years? Can't tell you. 70s? 60s? Or before that? No, 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 no. Uh, 70s, I would think. Right. And she was at things and people, the politicians came. As they do, if you can get somebody in Ottawa that's fairly high up, then they will come too. There's but a bit it, of a watershed. I'm going to keep. There's a bit of a watershed in 1967 with Canada and the arts. Yes, but that. And I was, want to talk a little bit more about the pre-1967. Yeah, because well, when this Pauline was, McGibbon came in and the Expo, then and the Lip Grants, we went into a new kind of. Uh, but she focused attention, as in England, uh, we were there in 1960. Uh, early on in '60 and. I can't tell you exactly, but I would think 60, certainly 60 to 70 percent of the shows were all American. Everything was American. And Britain said, okay, we have to have 60 percent British. So they did 15 minute programs, they did all kinds of little programs that the people could, the directors, the cameramen, all that could learn their craft. You're talking television and radio. This is, this is television. Television. Television And this now. was the BBC and the British this government the, said yes. there should be one And Jenny, on Jenny, Lee, Jenny Lee was the wife of Bevan, who was the Prime Minister, the right. Premier. Yeah. And she was at everything. And she fought like mad for the arts. And that, they were then, the, the BBC changed, the theatres, all grew up, the royal court, I mean, and, and they were, this was their heyday. This in the was 60s. Their, in the 60s. And this that was, was the a, era, too, that the BBC were bringing over some CBC television right, producers very, uh, right. to seed how BBC would produce television exactly. drama. And the, and, the, and the word on the street was, it's not uh, good enough to be a Canadian to be in television. You do have to have a bit of talent, too. 
<laughs> because it, we, Sid, Sid. Uh, yes, Sid Newman. That's Sid right. Newman uh, was with uh, the television over there, and he ran it. And, you know, he had done the work enough work here, I guess, or in the states. I it's don't ironic know because the situation is now almost reversed in Ig that Canadian television, yeah. you know, Global and CTV exactly. CBC spends a lot of time importing, you know, great, great and good drama from, you know, Britain right. and Europe and the United States, whereas ironically in the 1960s it was we the other way. Right. Yeah. The exactly. Expertise. Now, the theater in England had always been there, but um, that looked back in anger yeah. and all of that.